So, Wooly. Yeah. You have your fireballs now. I do. You decided to go with double fire. Uh, double fireball. Yes. Uh, but for what it's worth, uh, I have purchased the uh, fire orb and the combustion. Yeah. So I have I have these, mm -hmm. but I'm doubling up on the fireballs for this. Because you want more, you want more casts. Mm -hmm. And that, that'll be. See fine. how it does uh, against Dragon Boy. And that'll be fine for now. Uh, let's see what we get. I've seen every time. Every time, yeah. Weird. Why? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, this is. Aren't you a big boy? Lock on optional battle. Big ol' side swipes? No. So it's weird to me, but one of his uh, one of his moves is him That's running forward. If but I hit it, you gotta hit it. Okay. Let me get play with my partners a lot. I fucking love this guy. He's so good. Yeah. It's difficult to see, but he maintains uh, visual design elements that are in the intro dragons, which is the multiple wings on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the shit right there. Jump. Swipe and then tail. Yeah. Oh, I was trying to roll it. And remember, if you're pointed at him and the tail comes your, from your left, yeah. you won't block it. Okay. Because the hitbox is going around you. Okay, so we're going to go this side. Yeah. So the best advice is uh, kill his tail. And his tail will then be gone. Oh, he's thrashing. From future encounters. And then he realigns himself. Yeah, okay. <laughs> From all future encounters, eh? Yeah. yeah. You can, because you can't get the item multiple times. Right, right. And even though the cutscene is that of him getting it back, like, uh, sorry, coming out of the thing every time. Yeah, well, I'm going to point out, you running with your back to him and your shield up will not help you at all. Yeah, you're right. Because he'll just tag you in the back and it'll mean nothing. He turns pretty fast. i got to get closer. Much. I do like how he has particle effects like all over the place. That's not tail. Nope. All right. So because you have the partisan, it is slightly gonna be it's slightly harder for you to tag his tail. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna have to be manual about it. Fuck you. Oh, dude! Every touch is is a strike. Okay. Oh, the camera. Oh, jeez. You weren't even close. No. You were like full five feet yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Get in there, fool. Oh, man. You fucking finicky bastard. All right. Ooh. You sure you want to be on his left side? That's where he primarily swipes from. So there you go. You baited him. And after his big slam, you notice that he stays still for quite a bit. Yeah. It's harder to get on that side, but... But? I ate less damage. From what? From his, his swipe. Really? Because his swipe goes from his left hand outwards. I You're ran... running into his swipe. I thought I ran underneath it. And yeah, that is a very typical ground pound where any part of his body touches you during that animation, like it counts. All right, I'm gonna switch sides after this. Yeah, it's too hard to get on that side. Unless he does these, though. Hey, great. good job. Now you you have now limited his move set significantly. Awesome. All right. And now, feel free to just poke at him. Three? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, any part of him touches you at all damage. Oh, he's so big. Yeah. So, that's where the warrior made it. Oh, is that <laughs> what that was? Okay. Yeah. 
<gasps> oh! Oh, wow! I've never seen this. Ever. What the I have fuck? never seen that. No one told me! <laughs> yeah, so... You want to stay in his ass. Ooh. But he reached behind him there and he got me, eh? You were in between his uh, his two legs. So see, he still has the tail move. But he can't do it. But there's no there. physical tail hitbox. Oh, wow. Okay, and so... And yeah, you cannot block that stomp. Yeah, of period. course. So, yeah, you want to be at the butt. Oh, yeah. But not too far up the butt. Like, uh, on his back leg right there. That's the best spot, right where you are right now. Because it's easy to hit his... It's easy to hit his leg. Get the thigh. Get that big old thigh. Yeah. And if you want to be ballsy, what you can do is you can bait out his huge slam. Right? And if you bait out the huge slam, then he basically stays still for a little bit. Uh, and that's by being in front of him? Yeah. Like so. Now it's time. Big damage. Oh, that hurt. That did hit. Okay. Wow, that did a lot than more for a touch. Yeah. Okay. Because his whole body... It, so he does that thing where he walks forward, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His whole body becomes one hitbox. And does damage. And now you're going to turn. Yeah, okay. So you're just kind of like a bull. Yep. Okay. See... And you don't have to be close enough for him to hit you, right? Yeah. Uh, and what he's going to do usually after that is his charge forward. And that's his shit. He's physically tough. Does lots of damage. But... Wow, you're really far away. Yeah, partisan. You're much farther away than I would have thought you could hit him from. Oh! Don't touch that. Oh, gross! Don't touch that. You want to take a couple guesses as to what that does? Armor and weapon fucking... Wow, good guess. Wrecks your shit. Well, why did you assume it was that? Because that's a really strong guess. Uh, because other enemies have barfed in yeah. the past. So, the actual hint is that this is where you first get crystal weapons. Oh, okay. So you buy the crystal weapons and then from Dom it, Hall. Oh man, yeah. And then he's then the boss because his move set gains an extra layer, which is the ability to just completely destroy your equipment permanently. Right. Because you picked crystal weapons. Like. Ooh. So he tracks now. Okay. Okay. And then that's, yeah, that comes up pretty fast. I forgot what it was, but, like, uh, ignoring the vomit is a thing to do in Dark Souls. I, I, I... Yeah, when he's in the air, you can't lock onto him. Yeah. So doing so is just going to mess your camera up. Yeah, that side is not good, man. Yeah, okay. Like, every time you've All done right. that... You've watched him spin to face you. Yeah. All right. And look, that's the side he uses to attack his left side. The attack that no longer works. Yeah. Don't want to get grabbed, though. Oh, boy. I Good. just want to bait his thing. I want to bait his slam. Yeah. Well, the only way to bait his slam is to be directly in directly front of him. Directly in front of him. All right. Now, you can be directly in front of him far enough away that he can't hit you. Ugh. Which or that was not. <laughs> um, and if he runs forward now, you're dead. Um, good timing. Don't touch that shit. There you go. Safety. There you go. Alright. See, if you just kind of... No need to run. Yeah. If you just jog backwards, you're good. Fuck it. Move. You need to be so much closer to him to walk on. That's vomit. Yeah, that's vomit. So you can just actually stay back here. You should be fine. Wow, it covers the whole area in front of him. Don't keep running. Because it tracks. No, because there's a there's a cliff on the other side of that area. Oh! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I would feel bad for you if you got to that... Uh, if you got to that part and just ran off the cliff while not looking where you were going. I was wondering when you were going to go back to this. Because now's the time. Yeah. 
Lock it in. Just jog. There you go. All right. Slam. Slam. Cock your head back. There it is. I actually have time to do this right here. Oh, jeez. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, wow. No, okay. you don't. Interesting. No, his body is too, uh... His teeth don't have a hitbox. Yeah, they're too, it's too weird. Or a hurtbox, rather. Maybe? So here's the thing, you're using a spear, and in this game, hitboxes are hyper-specific. As you probably learn when you've locked on and, like, you're not hitting the boss at all. Mm -hmm. One more. Hey, hey, congrats! Okay. Ah, that's a gross one. Um... You did it. Yeah. You got the Blight Town key. Pretty... For all the life they give him, pretty re repetitive moveset. Absolutely. Um... I don't know. Congrats, you got 25k. That's a lot! So you can check out the, uh... Oh, where's the cliff? It's all the way at the other end. Okay. Uh, you can check out the key. Pat, now, like, I hear ya, and I, we're also like, we've been recording for a minute, mm -hmm. but I will admit that would have been a funny moment. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but you were doing relatively well. Yeah. No, I know. And and, and uh, I apologize to anyone who feels robbed of that, but, uh... Uh, so you got Blight Town, you got that was Dragon a King Dr Great Axe. Yeah. Um, no, so that was... That's the coolest design, in my opinion. It is, but the fight itself takes long. Yep. And knowing how strong well, you are Well, the reason why point, it takes long is because you haven't pumped your... You, you, like, you're using a dex weapon, you haven't pumped your dex. Right? Yeah, fair enough. Um, plus seven though. That's a decent. Place to no, no, but you, no. The the primary the scaling. The primary goal of increasing your weapon strength is not its raw damage; it's its scaling damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Whew. Um. So this axe, one of the rare dragon weapons, is formed by the tail of the gaping dragon, distant deformed descendant of the everlasting dragons. The axe is imbued with a mystical power to be released when held in both hands. So uh, unfortunately, you're not even gonna be able to like. Like pretend to swing that. No, I believe. Yeah, yeah. I believe the requirement for that is like fifty. Fifty. Holy cow. Okay. Well, let me just see what it looks like at the very least. Um. Now that is a uh, a uh, uh, a dragon, not a drake. Yeah. That's a for real one. So the size of it and the fact that um it had what, six legs. Yeah. Fucking and wings, yeah, and all that extra shit. Now, granted, he was super deformed. Yeah, but that makes that that pussy on the bridge look like a bitch. Yep. All right. Well. So you know you get you get. No, a, I know this is a bad move. You get the fucking like your shit yeah. animations. Fifty. That's so high. It's really it's it's above the hard cap. They want they they really want you to build for this. Thing. Yeah, like the the hard cap on scaling is forty. And after that, you get minor improvements. So it's like, no! I'm gonna go strong! You do it if you want it. What else did he give me? Uh, the Blight Town Key. Yes. Oh there boy, frame rate town. Not here. No, I know, but I hear the memes. <laughs> Key to Blight Town from the depths of the undead bird swallowed by the gaping dragon. Um, as the name suggests, Blight Town is a place of great pestilence. Even the polluted inhabitants of the depths are aware of its dangers and built this mighty door in hopes that they can remain. <laughs> I know they're talking about, like, like the, just the fucking people that were here before. Yeah. But I like the idea of these undead cooperating with these rats and blobs and basilisks. We don't want to go down there. To lock the fucking door. <laughs> Just in case. Um, up? What? Yeah, this is a weird looking thing. Yeah, it's just an edge to me, but... Yeah. I like the idea of the beasts that I just killed in this zone feeling like they, they need to stop that shit from coming back. Uh, and I also like the idea... So that's the door that you saw from the outside, except it's not a door. Oh, uh, okay. It's a fake out. Right, right, right. Oh, with the item behind it? Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember. No, because you looked over, it's like, oh, there's the door in the zone. It's like, no, it's actually the door is outside, and it's the key that's in here. Gotcha. Um, same thing over here. Let me just do a complete once over. Though I'm pretty sure I didn't see anything else. Oh, uh, you got the warrior stuff? 
the, the set? Yeah, I yeah, picked it up then, while then I was... Then you got everything. Yeah, I picked it up while I was fighting. Now, um, my advice is to not die before you use those souls. That's a lot of souls. Yeah. So, Don't die. Okay. Let's take a look at the warrior. Standard helm. Stat standard. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I was looking for the wrong word. A sturdy helm made of iron, a very common type of protective gear. It provides a sound level of defense. It's wise to wear a sturdy helm. That's just like... Just yeah, it's just generic flavor text. Just facts. Yeah. It's just true facts. Okay. And does the same apply to um, everything? It'd be the hard leather. Yep. Yep. Sometimes it's just a boot. Boots. Normal boots. Yeah. What a great, what a smart, fun name to come up with. <laughs> it's like, yeah, they're not iron boots. They're, they're just normal boots. Thank God. Do, 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 do you imagine do, do, you named your fucking, your company, like, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Uh, na imagine you named your company the Iron Boots from the Water Temple. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so let's see what we can spend 25k on. You can probably sell like four or five levels. Oof. Oof. I mean, all those. Don't lose these. These are valuable. All those theoreticals you're talking about, we might be able to hit them. Oh, you're going Vit? Give me, give me my. That's that's it, right? Fourteen? No. How much was it? Did your? Oh yes, it was. Look, your two min slots went up. Yeah. Okay. So that's three spells. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can we can go back up to under endurance. Now that everything's a nice even number, mm -hmm. we can start going back to. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna go big endurance, and uh, no strength or deck scaling. So you're really going big boys, big boys. I can keep pushing decks. Well, no, you can push dex, you can push strength, but I'm just saying, like, your ability to wield weapons is limited by that, and... Yeah, you're right, Like, you're right, like you're you right. need to start planning your build. Yeah, okay. You can, because you can't respec, yeah. and the cap is 60. So here's what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna lock this in, yeah. and with these numbers... So you have 26 to go. So think about endurance, strength, and dex right now. I'm gonna start pushing dex. You have, you have 26 to go. You have 24 to hit 40. Yeah, I'm gonna start pushing decks because yeah. I, I'm okay with where these are at. Yeah, uh, I just wanted that third slot, mm -hmm. um, and uh, now I just want my my dex weapons to be better. Okay, so that makes sense. Uh, and you can slap in some more magic uh, with your attunement magic thing. Yeah, uh, what was I off of? To um... no, you have three slots, man. No, no, no. I just meant like I'm holding f uh, five thousand souls. Yeah, my, my remainder. I don't think you have any items left. Okay, so let me give myself the fire orb. Combustion, you're not right, and you're not wrong in that it's a lot of uses. Yeah. But I like fireball, fireball, fireball. You like your grenades. Give me grenades. Yeah. I want my nades. Uh, and and what am I off? I'm off by two thousand. Let me see if I can pump one extra onto me. Squeeze the juice out. Did I pick anything up? No, I didn't. No. All right. So your ability to juice yourself is is gone now. Okay. You'll have to make do. All right. Now, Wooly. Yes. Is there anything you want to do in the areas that you have been right now that you want to do before continuing onwards? I can't think of anything, personally. No, uh, I'm... Is I, there anything you want to buy? Because mm. you could buy Flash Sweat and uh, Iron Iron Body from uh, Laurentius, the souls you currently have left. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't be bad. Okay. I would recommend doing so because... We've been talking a lot about hauling ass, right? Yep. We've been talking a lot about uh, the, the way you have to progress, right? Yep. Your ability to backtrack may, in some cases, become relatively severely impinged. I see. Well, what I can say is uh, I'm expecting the ability of the game to go, f no, fuck you, do it, may increase. Okay, I see. <laughs> uh, well, so, so far, I've... Um that, uh, now, I've now hit, like, a wall in terms of how deep, deep, deep I'm going, right? Uh, what do you mean exactly? Uh, like, like, I've hit, like, the, the depth, like, blood. I was on a long descent mm -hmm. through the berg, through all this and shit. And now you're currently at a wall, which is a door. Yeah. The blight town door. Exactly. You know, let me just, let me just do this in a slightly less dangerous manner. Yeah, exactly. Um. Fucking dogs. So, so, there's Blight Town. What is it? Borker? What? Bork Stoppers? <laughs> uh, Bork Busters. Bork Busters. So, Gabe the dog's not like that. No. I love that little Pomeranian. So cute. So, uh, yeah, yeah, no, what I was saying is that, um, 
there is the Blight Town key that I picked up, right? Mm -hmm. And that's that's fun that's that everyone pretty, is waiting to see. That's pretty much all you can go to at the current time. Uh, you cleared out the aside. Oh, well, you can. Oh, wait, he's going to come he's, at he's, you. He, no, he hauls ass. He hauls ass. You see? Look at him hauling. Look at him hauling. And he bites, and it sparks the fucking the place that he bites. Yeah. Well, he's biting you really hard, and you're coated in metal. Yeah. No, but no, but he, he sparked off of this the goddamn pillar is what I mean. He's blowing really hard. His teeth are really, really hard at a really, really dense, metal, running at a really fast pace. Andre smithing at an incredibly high speed. <laughs> Why is that video so funny to me? I didn't see a video. I saw a picture. Oh. There's oh a no, there's video. a video of him just like crazy fucking initial Ding the hand the anvil. Oh nice. And wow, we, I have no idea why it's funny to me. What, what plays in the background? I think it's a music. Like that thing. Speed is people. But why? Why would that make me laugh? It's just him. It's just the animation quickly. Um. So what I was gonna say, blah, is that I am. I've never forgotten about the other two paths from Firelink that have oh, not yeah, been taken, which are uh, Skeleton Town. And, um... New Londo. The ghosts. Yeah. S ghosts slash skeletons. So... That's my new book. <laughs> that's literally that what's been in my brain, and I've been waiting for the game to force me to curve back to Firelink to eventually then go, all right, now you want to... Oh, you got a long ways before that. Oh, really? You can if you desire. It is within your character's ability to go to those places and just do them. I guess then... Until I ring that fucking bell. There, there is a, there's a, like, there's like a fucking like line that you can take through the game as the intentional path, right? Um, but until those areas are open, they are not locked in any way. Until I ring that bell, it Blight Town, really... yeah, Blight Town's locked by the key, which means you have to beat the dragon, right? Yeah. But uh, New Londo and the area past the skeleton graveyard are not. They're just wide open. What's gonna stop you is if you try and go into them. Is the zone will stop you? <laughs> like, like the the zone is is not to be trifled with. And it's possible, particularly in New Londo, that you're not able to kill the um, ghosts fast enough uh, and efficiently enough to cause them to drop enough transient curses to get through. So I don't like how running back to this spot um, means that these guys are gonna follow me. Yeah, it sucks. I, I wish I could just you know. Treat it like the cool sprint. Oh, can you do me a favor? Things. Can you stand on that edge and uh, turn to look at the bridge? To the left. Behind me. Yeah. Bridge. This bridge, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I jumped and got an item over there. Yeah. I, I forgot if you picked it up. Yeah. Um. And, uh. Hey, I've been playing with pretty much no humanity. Yep. Meh. Well, what do you want it for? I don't know. Humanity is your online play item, and it is your oh, Kindler. Really? Doesn't it also oh, have, like, um, a more mi subtle... It has a very minor oh, increase to item drop rates. Oh, oh, that's what... Yes, yeah. someone made a comment. Very minor. Implying... It is not worth it. It's not like that it doesn't do da like any kind of damage. Uh, Only if you have uh, weapons to scale with it. Okay. So I can get you start boosting... Oh, and then it makes the attacks in general. Yeah, yeah. B buy, buy, the, buy the fucking spells first. No, 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 no. Spells I know, I know. First. I'm just reading a thousand. Mm. Okay, so these are the only two. Yep. And then you've bought them all out until you find them new shit. Okay, and you said there's like... this That there's actual quest lines? There are quest lines for merchants by exhausting their, their wares. But it's exhausting their final set of wares. Okay. I had a funny way of... He said that... Pyromancy is the ultimate fantasy. We are born into dark and warmed by fire. But this fire we cannot touch. Those whose fascination with fire persists... Learn to hold it in their own hand. He rather had a way with words, the old withering frog. Here's why that's fucking cool. Why is that? Having played the future games, mm -hmm. the most important things in my head about these worlds are not people, gods. Mm -hmm. It's the concepts and the basic the, ideas. What, what is the way that the elements work in this reality? Fire and dark. And yep. that is it. So... Going holy and going for wisdom and going for faith and putting your faith in gods that are basically bosses you can beat yeah. seems less important in the grand scheme of things than going with fire yeah. or 
dunk. And that's a really interesting thing because there's a distinction in uh, in this stuff of like there's darkness, which is kind of ever present and a, a, like omni threat, I guess you would call it, right? But there's also um, a distinction between fire and light. Yes, fire is not light. <laughs> yeah, fire. Yeah. Fire is it's this, not age of dark this, age of light. It's, it's, it's this, in, it's this in between human construct. Right, right, right. Which you can again, you can burn concepts with it. Um, I'm gonna actualize my my personality. Legendary lord is the godmother of pyromancy. So the day I became undead, I was ecstatic. I felt as if I'd been chosen to attune myself to the ancient arts. Of course. It wasn't all that romantic in the end. So this game also has something that the other games don't really delve into. And it's people that are stoked that they became undead. Sorry. Because it has yeah, massive yeah, as advantages. As we discussed before. I'm, right? I'm a but but Solaire mentions that his, him becoming undead was his awakening to his, uh, 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 like what is essentially a vision quest. Right? Mm -hmm. Laurentius says that him becoming undead is like, oh, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. I get to go be uh, uh, the, the best pyromancer that ever was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Big Hat Logan's like, oh man, now that I'm undead, I can totally get all this dank knowledge that I would never be able to survive the trip. Right? But other people, like the Crestfallen Warrior or Griggs, are just like, ugh. And other people, like uh, Siegmeier, uh -huh. don't give a fuck! Because they're too busy thinking about food. Yeah. Or, or puzzled by doors. I really like Laurentis. It's, it's very- He's awesome, it's, and I, I, it makes I me- It makes me respect pyromancy in a way that I completely haven't he's, done up until this point. It, it's weird because they went really hard on the despair aspect in the future games. Yeah. But a lot of the people you run into in Firelink are kind of laid back. They're pretty uh, chill <laughs> about the whole undead curse. <laughs> Considering the world we live in, they're kind of okay with it. And there, there is part of a reason for that. And in Dark Souls 1, the flame is fading. In Dark Souls 2, the, the, the Drang Lake is capital F fucked, and that's a human kingdom. This is the land of lords, right? Yeah. In Dark Souls 3, the entire universe is at the brink of total collapse. Like, the, the they are in decreasing stages of being held together. It is implied that the there is a world outside of Mordrin that is getting worse. So it would make sense over the course of the games that the demeanor of its inhabitants would start like it's it's applied like when if you find the Baldur side armor, right? Or any of that, they describe that Baldur used to be a kingdom that fell to the undead. So the undead scourge is becoming like a massive like military issue. Yeah. But the world as it is continues to exist. Right. Okay. It's not an, it, in Dark Souls 3, it's pretty obvious that the apocalypse is occurring everywhere, simultaneously, right? The areas you're going through is not the land of the lords, it's not a fallen kingdom, it's all these other kingdoms that are being mashed to together via magic because shit is so bad. I'm really, really curious now about how this game ends, <laughs> considering <laughs> where it goes in the future. Uh, yeah, yeah, I really want to know. Very cool. See you guys. You're going to love this. Trust me, what you're seeing now is my normal state. This is a Super Saiyan. And this... This is what is known as a Super Saiyan that has ascended past a Super Saiyan.